I have so many products sitting in front of me from Amazon. Amazon Prime is coming up on July 11th and 12th, but we're getting a jump on it because I'm excited about these products. I have not brought you an Amazon video for a little while, but I have still been shopping at Amazon. So I felt like I needed to bring you what I've been shopping for. Don't forget that if you do wanna shop the Prime sale on the 11th and the 12th of July, you do have to be a Prime member. There are so many benefits to being a Prime member, not just free shipping. You get a ton of free movies. You get free books. You get free music. You get all kinds of perks. Matter of fact, one of the perks that I just found out about, I was really surprised about. And that is that people that are Prime members right now are able to get Grubhub, the delivery service for food, you're able to get that for two years for free. That's crazy. They were giving away one year and right now by the 5th, before the 5th of July, they're giving away two years. So sign up for Prime and then just type in Grubhub on the Amazon website or on the app and then you can go and find Grubhub and you can sign up for it for the two years. So great deal. There's so many perks to being a Prime member. It's not just about getting free shipping. It's about a lot of things. So make sure that you take a peek at that. Let's see what I have on. We do that on this channel. Let's go ahead and take a look at my shirt and my jeans. Okay, so a full length view of this shirt. It's got ruffled sleeves on it and it's a short cap sleeve. I really love the material on it. It's super stretchy and also it's super soft. It's just great. And then I have never tried any jeans like this before. I've always been of the mindset that if you're going to buy jeans, why buy jeans that are already ripped when you're going to spend money on them when we were in school? If they were ripped, they went in the garbage or mom tried to patch them and we were mortified. So they're not the typical ripped all over, but they are cute. So they have the back pocket and they're very stretchy and they're straight leg and they're ankle pants. So I'll throw up a picture here so you can see that as well. Let's talk about the jewelry that I have on. The earrings are a in front and behind. So this is the clasp that goes behind the ear. So you get a lot of movement and a lot of dimension with these cute little earrings. It's almost like they're a half hoop type earring. So cute. And then I also have, hopefully they're turned right. I also have two different necklaces on. This one is a heart on the bottom in gold with little beads on the chain itself. And then this one is just a cubic zirconium set into a round little gold area right there. And both of them I like really well. So I put those all together. And by the way, my rings, everything that I'm wearing for my makeup, all of that stuff will be down below listed and go, scroll to the very bottom because that's usually where I keep the makeup that I've worn because all of the other information that we're actually chatting about today, that's usually what I put up at the top. And then I'm going to really quickly share this robe with you. This robe I absolutely love because it is a knit material and the material is uber soft. It almost has a three quarter length sleeve. I like that about it. It does wrap around and you're never gonna have to worry about the tie on it because it is sewn on or it is attached. I love that. And for me, I'm 5'7 and it goes down to my ankles. It does have pockets. It is so stretchy. It is so comfortable. It's easy to lounge in. It's modest and it's cute. And if I wanna stay in it all day long, it's so comfy I can do that. So for me, the best part of this lounge set is not just the fact that it has the wide pants and it's so comfortable, but it has the tank top. You can wear this cropped if you want to. So if you've got a really long torso, you're gonna be able to wear it cropped. I kind of like a little bit more modesty. It's got a super high waist on it, does have drawstring on it. I'm wearing a medium, but I also, the large would be a little bit looser and you might like that a lot. I am 5'7". I have a really long inseam. It's about 33, somewhere in there. So I do have a hard time finding long pants. These are okay because I'm not gonna step on them. They come just, they skim my feet, which is perfect. So I really do like it. Love how stretchy it is and a great one to lounge in for the summer. My last loungewear is a maxi dress that is off the shoulder. I got a medium in this and like I said, I'm kind of in between a medium and a large, 
but this one I feel like I should have gone for a large because I'm a 38D and so my chest is a little bit in there. It's kind of stuffed in there. I do love this dress though. It has pockets, which is so nice. It's super flowy, super easy to wear around the house, but I do love this dress. I love the way that it sits on the body and I absolutely love these pockets and it comes all the way down again. It skims the top of my feet. Actually, it almost skims the floor with it being on. So this is so pretty and they have a bunch of prints. Switching over to just a few housewares, I found one of the coolest things that I think is so good for anybody in emergencies. This is a light bulb that you can put in any lamp that you have and when you do, it recharges. So this is all plastic. It's not going to shatter on you. You don't have to worry about that. But it does have this little cradle right here with a hook on it. Hopefully you can see that. What happens is, is when you twist it down onto the cradle, you can push the bottom and it lights up. Now what I love about this is in an emergency, you don't have to think, where's my flashlight? Where it? Where did I put the candles? Anything like that. You just remember that you have this light bulb and keep this cradle right next to your bed or what, wherever you know that you're gonna be able to get it. And it's going to last three or four hours without having a charge. So I think that this is a great idea, especially if you have elderly parents or someone that really needs something like this in the event of any sort of emergency, such a good idea. Another thing for homewares that I was so excited about, and I just got this and I haven't even used it yet. This is a candle warmer. So you can put the candle little squares in here, the warmers in this part if you want to, but you can set a regular candle on here if you want to too. Also, you can set a mug on here if you wanna keep your drink warm. I think that this is so pretty. It has the embossing around it and it's all white. They had other colors, but this for me goes so good with my house and I absolutely love it. It does have the on and off click switch so you're not just plugging everything in to get it to go on. So I really think that this would make a great gift. Also something that I just got in that I had to share with you so pretty is this little dispenser hand soap dispenser lotion dispenser um, even dish soap if you want that you can also use these if you have those sugar-free syrups or if they're not sugar-free you can use it for that kind of thing this is a fluted one it's got the glass on there and it's so pretty and then it has the silver on top i love these these are all over my house they're very sturdy and they hold a lot which is kind of nice as well. All right, some beauty products. I have some of the funnest beauty products. I was talking to you very recently in a video about my hair, how I'm getting it to grow, what I'm doing to, you know, keep it in good shape. I actually did just have like almost three inches cut off of the ends. I'm trying really hard to get these little bitty hairs that were growing to come down. And so it looks a little bit fuller down here on the ends. I digress. What I wanted to share with you, have any of you tried these Purador deep moisturizing or anti-thinning biotin shampoo? These are so good. I have been loving using them and I feel a tingle when I use them. This one says it has tea tree oil. That's probably what the tingle is. Better get the spectacles for this one because it says it has 17 proprietary herbal blend aloe vera based so instead of being water based it's aloe vera based tea tree oil red korean seaweed nettle leaf extract uh well i'm gonna murder this one he she woo um yeah amla oil vitamin e oil black cumin seed oil saw palmento argon oil and more okay I'm so enjoying these because my hair feels super soft after using them. I have the conditioner too, which um, says it has rosemary, apple fruit extract, argan oil, sunflower seed, vitamin E, pumpkin seed oil, avocado oil, and more. These are a one-two punch. I was researching hair because I'm always wanting my hair to be the best it can be. 
I, you know, after you go through menopause, it seems to thin. It doesn't seem to grow like it did when you were younger, but this is really good. It's really been helping me and I've really been enjoying it. And don't forget, I tell you this all the time in any video that we do is don't forget to do a double cleanse on your hair. Now I did learn that not only do we need a lot of these ingredients that are in this shampoo on our scalp to clean our scalp, but we also need caffeine to stimulate the hair follicle and then there was another one and I will bring that to you in another video because I can't remember for the life of me what it was these are great they are clean ingredients they don't have a bunch of junk in them no parabens no sulfates all that good stuff so all that bad stuff so I've been super enjoying them and I wanted to share them with you now another one that I'm I love I've been using these for years but I wanted to bring this to you because these are two Mac daddy big huge things from dr. Teal's their foaming bath pure Epsom salts the new house that we moved into it has a gargantuan tub I mean it takes like 20 minutes to fill this tub up it's crazy I mean the water trickles but anyway it's just really nice to be able to get both of these and you get a lot in here and I love a good bubble bath and Dr. Teal's is soothing because it always is made with pure Epsom salts which is really good for detoxing our body relaxing our muscles anytime you have a muscle that's strained Epsom salts is the be-all and the end-all for you so this one is the shea butter and almond oil to soften and moisturize and this one is the glow and radiance with vitamin C and citrus essential oils I love both both of them I love fragrance as far as a bubble bath goes and these both smell like heaven they're great and they foam up so well it's a really great way to pamper yourself and get that wonderful relaxation at the end of the day or get recharged for the beginning of the day and just be able to relax so I do really like these all right switching over to kind of nutrition and I had talked about this very recently again in that hair video but I want to stress to you how much much I am enjoying this amino lean these are amino acids and it talks about anytime energy weight management and mental focus I feel like the energy that's coming from this is fabulous amino acids are the building blocks of our muscles it's also the building blocks of collagen so we have if you have collagen loss let's say that you are one of those people that just refuses to take collagen you don't like to hear about it it's all that kind of stuff remember that amino acids we need that in order for our skin to look supple and young it's great for our nails our hair our connective tissues our joints it's so good for so many things our bodies are made up of amino acids and we need to get them somehow if we're not getting them in a diet in our diet and most of us have a fairly poor diet in the United States so it's good to be able to get something like this and use it and really feel the benefits of it and for me it's the energy the weight management and the mental focus I feel like the mental focus is definitely there but the energy is top notch I love using it it makes me feel so good two little teeny scoops and there's 70 total servings in here so this is a good one let's switch over to some skincare that I just got and I've used this I think I've used this four times and I really like it I don't know if I'm insane or what but I'm feeling like I notice a difference for me niacinamide that by the way this is a niacinamide toner for me niacinamide is one of those ingredients that really helps my pores so much so this is called bliss disappearing act niacinamide pc and pore vanish micro purifying toner alcohol free fragrance free okay i love that about it both of those things it's a very clean product but i love what niacinamide does for my skin it always flushes out those pores. It's a great one to be able to refine your pores and keep your pores as small as they can be. If your pores have gunk in them, they're going to spread out and they're going to look bigger. So maybe think about incorporating some sort of a niacinamide toner in your routine. I love the Good Molecules niacinamide toner, but it's there's not as much in it as this and it costs so it costs a little bit more. Either of these will do the job. You can actually buy this one at Walmart as well if you don't like to shop online, but I'll make sure that I leave the link for you as well. All right, in front of me, I have three pairs of sandals. 
why do I have three pairs of sandals? Because I didn't pick out four. So I just wanted to share with you the sandals that I have been wearing like crazy and that I love. Now, these sandals I pro are probably the least worn so far because this is a little bit more dressy. I like to wear these with black when I'm wearing a skirt, but I do feel like you could easily wear these and get away with it all day long. I'm not somebody that can wear the little thong or the little toe thing right here. I have, my toes are like monkey toes. They're too long. And yes, I get told that all the time. And so I'm not able to wear that kind of sandal, but these sandals are perfect and they have great cushion on them. And look at the cute bling on them. Aren't they cute? It's a rubber heel. So you're going to get some good cushion, rubber sole on the bottom of them. These are probably my newest ones. I really like them. I found two pairs of colored sandals. Now colored sandals for me are kind of a fashion statement pull my whole outfit together and i just love them and i've shown these before but i want to show them again because these are some of the cutest sandals that i have ever had these are the pink ones and i love these they have the zip up in the back they have the detailing all along here with the flowers the straps this is so well made and they look so pretty and I love these. They also have the little gemstone right there. This is just a really cute elevated sandal that you can wear with just about any maxi dress, mini dress, whatever you're out for for the day. They have a little bit of a heel, I would say maybe an inch and a half heel, but when you get that half inch on the platform on the toe, then you're looking at probably about an inch heel. So cute. And then also I have some blue ones that I think are just as adorable. Same page I got these off of as the pink ones. These are so cute, strappy. They do have the elastic. We have these beads going down on the front right here, the blue beads, and then you have the pink beads on the side. And again, cushy. This is a little bit higher, so I would say we're looking at maybe a two inch heel with an inch platform, and so you have maybe a half an inch and a half heel. Let's get our math right there. And these are just adorable too. All of these I have not had a problem wearing for quite a while during the day. I would say that the pink ones are the ones that I probably can wear, you know, only for a few hours. And when I say a few hours, I'm like six hours. I don't like to wear shoes any longer than I actually have to, but six hours is a long time in a shoe. These other ones and the black ones, I feel like you could wear for eight hours plus. Okay, I'm really excited to show these to you. These actually do come in a set of four, and I don't know what I did with my other two. They're around here somewhere. I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached to my shoulders. Anyway, these are pump dispensers, and I'll tell you why I'm so excited about them because I have at times different products that get broken. Like right now, this is the toner from Glow Recipe and I could not get that to come out very well and it was just driving me crazy. So I popped the top off of that and I put it in here and now I get to use this up instead of it just sitting there because I was irritated with not being able to get it out very well. So I'm excited to be able to get these. They are also, many of them, small enough to be able to go through TSA at the airport. And yeah, what a great idea to be able to put your own products and, you know, save something that you were going to have to throw away or, you know, that was going to go to waste because it was going to expire before you use it. I just think this was a great idea and I'm super glad that I found these. I recently got these and I'm so excited about these. Pixie has this eye pat has these eye patches that are Fortify Eye Toning Eye Patches and there's 30 in here so you get 15 uses, I guess that is, but I'll tell you what I do. Shh, don't tell anybody. This is what I do. Instead of just using them once actually put them back in here because this is so juicy that you can go ahead and put them back in there and reuse them i reuse them a total of three times so the first time put them back second time third time and then i throw them away the reason is is because i feel like that's really expensive plus it's a little bit wasteful and you got a ton of juice in here the other thing is if you get to where it kind of dries out you can always put your own serum in here if you want to the toning in this though it plumps up my wrinkles that are underneath my eyes and it just helps out so much i've been really liking them and really enjoying them as just the morning wake up call for my under eyes 
that have so many wrinkles. So these are very nourishing, very soothing. Like if I've gotten a little bit too aggressive with whatever skincare I'm using, it can really soothe that area. But more than anything, I feel like it hyper plumps up those wrinkles underneath there. Also, I wanted to show you a pair of sunnies and I may have shown these to you before. I think I may have shown these to you, but I think I may have shown them in the purple. I probably shown them in the teal, but I love sunnies. I really do. These are UVA and UVB, and as soon as I put them on, I could no longer see my viewfinder right next to my camera, which means they're doing their job. They're filtering out that light that really can harm our eyes. They're just a pretty sunglass. These have the fun design on the side, the little bit ornate design, and I love how big they are, but they don't sit on my cheeks. That's a huge thing for me, but these don't do that. So I think that you'll really like these. Have you seen this new skin tint from Maybelline? I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm wearing it today. I've been wearing it probably for a week. I feel like it's a skin tint that can be built up. I feel like it perfects. It doesn't cover like everything. So it's not a heavy coverage. It's very light coverage. I would say it's anywhere from light to medium, which I like in the summer because when it's hot, I don't want to be messing with a bunch of extra heavy stuff on my face, but I have been liking this. So this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. It says it has a vitamin C derivative in it. I have it in two colors because I first bought this color, which is like almost white. And I went ahead and I just bought a darker color and I mixed them together to try and get my, my best color. As far as it being a 24 hour wear on it, I would say that that is a fairly good claim because I took a nap in it. Now that was probably at hour, maybe hour seven. I took a nap in it. And when I woke up, I didn't feel like it had moved at all. There wasn't anything on my pillow. It hadn't transferred at all. I really feel like their claims of 24 hours is pretty darn good. I, you know, 24 hours of sleeping in your bed with your face planted down. I don't know if that would work or not. I'm not going to sleep in my makeup, so I couldn't tell you, but I do like this. I like how natural it feels on my skin too. It, like I said, it does not feel heavy. It just seems like it's a really great skin tint and why, oh why cannot L'Oreal and Maybelline do away with these dispensers that are the little droplets. It's so messy and so nasty. So I think you're gonna love it. Again, a new skin tint from Maybelline. Two purses that I wanted to share with you. This is the purse that I've been using almost the whole entire summer. I love this thing. It's pink, it's quilted, it's got gold accents. You know I'm gonna bring you a purse if I'm bringing you an Amazon video. It's got a ton of room in there, but not too much to where you feel like you lose everything, which I love. And while I've got that here, I'm gonna share with you my other product. This is a product that I think is just absolutely genius. This is a light for your purse. I am always losing crap down in the bottom of my purse and I hate that. So you put this down in your purse and you stuff it all the way to the bottom and then you turn that on and hopefully you can see that it's lighted and it goes all the way to the bottom. Now, if you have a very deep purse, it's even going to help with that because you just lay it down the side and then it illuminates. I love this little gadget. It's awesome. Now back to the purse itself. I love the purse with the chain accent, the little strap that comes over and closes and keeps it secure. I think this is one of the cutest purses that I own. I love the piping that is the black accent on it. I love everything about this purse. And I showed this purse last year and it was one of the best sellers and for a good reason. This is a lightweight, just a dream to carry around because it's so lightweight. Now this purse does have three pockets. I don't use all three pockets. So you got the pockets on the edge here or on the outside here. I just use the middle one because I'm like that. I don't want to have to mess with anything else. But this would be really good because it's all black. This would be perfect for that little light to go down in there. This purse can carry a ton, which I didn't think that when I first saw it. I thought that is way too little of a purse, but it can carry a ton. It has silver accents on it. I don't often find a purse that does have silver accents on it. And I love that and it's all white. It's just perfect for summer. Makes you think of summer when you see it. The bottom of it, even though it is kind of a hobo purse, the bottom of it does have that flat surface. So it's not going to tip over on you unless you got it super full and 
lopsided, but it's not going to tip over on you when you set it down and everything spill out. So this was a very fun purse and I think that you would like it as much as I do. All right, coming to the end, but I want to really stress this one and because everybody has been going insane gaga for Cozarex snail mucin. It's good. It is better in my opinion than hyaluronic acid. For me, it just dries my skin out because I already have dry skin and it just didn't work. But snail mucin does. It really helps to be able to hydrate my skin. It's a great essence. I love this stuff. I did try the Cozarex and I've, I've used like three, maybe four bottles. But when I found this one from Benton, I was hooked all the way. And the reason is, is because not only does it have snail mucin in it, it also has bee venom. And bee venom is one of those products that nobody even talks about or thinks about. I haven't heard many people talk about it. However, I did get a chance to look this up. So let me tell you what the claims are with bee venom. Reduces the visible effects of inflammation, assists in reducing the appearance of eczema, can help reducing the appearance of wrinkles, helps soothe the look of acne, gives you a glowing complexion. So it is one of those ones that more than anything, it's just going to help keep your skin barrier in good condition. And that's really what snail mucin does as well. It keeps you hydrated. It takes care of any irritations that you have. And it's very, very gentle. Now, when you think of bee venom, you think, oh my goodness, that's not going to be gentle. But fortunately for us, it is. I use this one and I love the one that has the bifida and the galactomyces in it. I will list that one as well. I think that Benton is a highly overlooked brand on Amazon, but this one is awesome for the first step in getting your skin ready for all the other serums that you're going to put on it. I use this every day and I'm absolutely in love with it. Super hydrating, super soothing, great products. Product. One from Billie Eilish. Have you tried this fragrance? Holy moly, this is one of my favorite fragrances and I can spray it all day and never get tired of it. Go look at the notes on this. This is a beautiful perfume. It is right up my alley. It's like a musk with a little bit of floral, tiny bit of citrus notes, just a tiny, tiny bit. But what it has in it more than anything are some notes of a little bit of spice. Uh, I love this. It's a really nice one. It's a fun one to have on your vanity too because it's got an interesting bottle on it. Um, thank goodness, you know, at least they cut off the nipples. So this is really nice. I think that you'll really love it. It's one of the ones that I love. I'm a fragrance junkie and this is one of the ones that I've repurchased. Alrighty, I think that's it for today's video. I'm so glad that I was able to bring you all of these Amazon finds. Hope that you're doing really well. Love you so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.